Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for our Technique. Now before we start this video today, please make sure that you hit subscribe because once you've done that, you'll be notified of all the content that we upload onto our YouTube page. Now we're going to do a video today on pressure reducing valves, but we're going to do something slightly different. We've looked at videos in the past where we've taken the internal components away from valves, we've put them on the table, we've looked at them, but we can never really see how they work inside the valve. So what we've got here is our three ranges of pressure reducing valves. We've got our 533, our 535, and our 536 range. And we're gonna look at the differences, but also how they work internally. So first of all, what we're gonna take a look at is our 533 range of PRVs, or pressure reducing valves. Now, as you can see inside, there are numerous components which sit within the pressure reducing valve. And then we'll look at the flow of water and how they work. So first of all, the water passes into the valve, that's from your mains or from your, your cold supply. First thing we come across is this gauze filter. Now what that does, that protects all the internal components of the pressure reducing valve to make sure that all the parts that need to move freely can do so because there's no debris passing through from the system. Now we've got an O-ring, that helps us get some watertight seals. But when we start to move towards the top, we've got a piston inside here or, or a shuttle, but also we've got the diaphragm which sits on the top. Now that diaphragm is key to the reduction of, or for the reduction of pressure inside the valve. Now inside this cap, there is a spring, but it's also got the adjustment on there as well. So there's a screw which sits in the top. Now as we adjust that screw clockwise or anti-clockwise to do the uh, pressure reduction, that changes the compression or the tension on that spring, allowing more or less pressure to go through. So once we've done all that, water passes through. Now once it's in its steady state or in its static state when there's no water moving, the valve will just sit stationary. It won't do anything because it doesn't need to. There's no flow through the valve. Now, as soon as we open an outlet downstream, what that creates is a pressure reduction in this port here, and that allows then the diaphragm to be pushed up for the water to then start to, to pass through, and we get that safe, steady pressure stream that comes out the, uh, the other side because we've got that set to the pressure where we need to. Now, when it comes to maintenance, they can be maintained. They're designed to be maintained. It's a simple job. We take off this, this gray cap at the top, and that starts to expose these internal components. Now these can be removed one by one. So we take out the diaphragm, we take out the spring, we take out the cartridge. We can give that gauze filter a nice clean, make sure that the valve is not got any restrictions in there. Water can keep passing through and we get that pressure reduction that we're looking for. It's a simple case, put each component back the same way as you took it out, make sure it goes back in the right sequence, then you'll get many years of happy work from your pressure reducing valve. So just remember, that's our 533 range of pressure reducing valves. Now the second valve that we're gonna look at in this short video today is our 535 range of pressure reducing valve. Slightly different, it looks slightly different, but it also behaves slightly differently. It's got different features to the 533 which we've just looked at. Now first of all, the big difference that you can see on this one, it's what we call presetable. So we can see here there's a window with a number indicator in there. Now that's the pressure that we're gonna set for the downstream. Now we're on the 533, we have to use that adjustment screw on the top which I showed you. We can almost preset this before we install it because by simply rotating in the head, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, we can preset that pressure. So that's a really good feature. Maybe it's going into a, a riser or into a roof space. It's a little bit difficult to get to. You can preset that before it goes in there so you don't have to worry about it once it's installed. But when it comes to internal components, again, all very similar. We've got our water which comes in, passes through this gauze filter to make sure we're protecting the valve. Then it passes through for the outlet and we get good pressure reduction. Now, another massive difference between this and the 533 which we looked at previously is how the valve is maintained. Now, this has got what we call a single cartridge. So from maintenance perspective, what we can do is instead of having to take off the cap, the spring, the diaphragm, all those separate components, this valve will come out as a complete cartridge. So we simply unscrew this large light gray nut here. That whole cartridge, so everything that you can see within here is easily removed, it's maintained, it's cleaned, and even replaced. So if you do have a problem, say if it's been in for some time and maybe it's just getting a little bit worn, you can replace the whole cartridge and you don't have to recommission the valve because it's preset. If you're set to three bar, you simply turn your dial, set it to three bar, whether it's a new one or the existing one, you can reinstall it back in commission straight away. It's really quick, it's really easy, it's a really good feature. Obviously on the valves, we've got gauges. Now this is the downstream pressure, so you can monitor what's going on downstream of the valve when it's working. So that's our 535 range of pressure reducing valves. So finally, we're gonna take a look at our 536 range of pressure reducing valve. And this is now where we do really start to see a difference in design. So we can see before we had that, we had that angled head, so that improves on the flow, etc. We've now got this sort of T pattern shape one where the, the diaphragm is directly down, it's forcing directly on top of the, of the water pressure. So you can see we've got the exposed spring 
it's a heavy duty spring. There's a lot more tension on there. The, the diaphragm, previously we've got rubber diaphragms. This has got a metal seat over it, but also the bottom part, it's pretty much the same. So you can see here, we've got the gauze filter, we've got the O-rings, we've got the moving shuttles or the arbitrages which move up and down to regulate that pressure. Now, the differences between the 533, 535 and the 536 is probably where we would install them. So 533 is very much a domestic product. You probably have an income and supply into your property. 535 again can be used as a domestic product but it starts to touch on the lights of commercial so light commercial and this is very much a commercial or industrial strike valve now because of the design features because you can see we've got this the metal seat which sits on top of the diaphragm we can expose it to sort of higher pressures we can sort of expose it to higher flow rates it's a little bit more durable than what we'd need for a domestic installation but again like i say we've still got the same features we've still got the gauze filter it can still be maintained it can still be cleaned in the, in the same way it's a simple case as we remove the brass top, we then expose the working parts, we remove the spring, remove the diaphragm, the gauze filter, etc. Same as all the other ones, it's a very simple process, but a really important process to make sure that the valves are working as they should for the life of the valve. Now adjustment, again, is very simple. We just remove the black cap off the top. There's an adjustment screw inside there, clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending whether you want to increase or decrease the pressure. So if we do a little bit of a recap, we've got the 533, it's the smaller, it's the, it's the nickel plated valve. We have that tends to be for more domestic. 535, we start to move up. You've got that pre-settable feature on there. You've got the removable cartridge, but we sort of use that for domestic and commercial or light commercial. Then we've got the 536, which is this one, which is where we start to use it on more of a commercial basis or more of an industrial basis but they're all the same, they're all pressure reducing valves. They've all got just very slight different in features. Now, if you want any information on any of our pressure reducing valve range or any other valves in our range, please visit our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk.